After his phenomenal match with Kenta Miyahara, then Miyahara lost to Suwama, and then Suwama had COVID, and then the Triple Crown, where every three, where all three participants represented a member of the three belts of the Triple Crown. Jake Lee won. I forgot who got the pin first. I think Lee, Lee came in late. I'm not sure. I'm going to check. I did not. I do, I don't think I was specified that this was how the triple threat triple threat worked in that match. It was done at AJBW Champions Night. Kendo Miyahara was the PWF World Heavyweight Champion. Yuma Aya Ogi was the NWA United. National Champion, and Jake Lee was the NWA International Champion. Mihara had the first pinfall, pinning out Yogi with German suplex hold. Jake Lee had a match out of pin with a back suplex on Mihara, and then pinned out Yogi, having the two wins he needed in the match, pinning both contenders to become... Which is very unique, actually, despite trouble for us being happening since the 90s. This kind of match should be done this way. I feel like a Survivor Series uh, triple threat. And uh, yeah, Jake Lee that was the first time he won the match, won the belt. But like, yeah, he, he had a phenomenal match with uh, Mihara. Mihara had the belt three times, give Jake Lee another belt, and then maybe we see them in a five star match later on. We thought, subscribe.